This is Paul Brarin from TakeYourTry.com, and I'm here at QNAP's box, known for their NASAs. And I just met James a few minutes ago, and James, if you can show us your products. We're starting with the most affordable stuff that is suitable for the, suitable for the home lab. All right, um, here, you, um, here you are looking at is our um, home lab mod uh, models, uh, uh, specifically for home labs. So you, as you can see here, this is a four bay Intel Serial NAS that comes with the Intel, the latest Intel Serum Quaco processor. And it has a four bay drive tray in here. Show you here. So this one, um, it's, it, it's VMware ready for both NFS and iSCSI data store. So it's perfect for a home lab environment. So speaking of VMware, so ESXi 6.5 update one out rather recently. But um, you're right there with support. There's no issue with iSCSI or VMFS direct format. Um, for instance, if you're USB attached, you're not going to be doing VMFS direct format. These are all going to be iSCSI targets, right, under VMware. Exactly. OK, just want to make sure that we're clear on that. And then support, there's no issue with 6.5. Yeah, so, um, well, most QNM NAS are certified for uh, uh, vSphere 6.5 uh, for both NFS and iSCSI. OK, great. And what do we have next to it? You want to show me that a little bit? Oh, um, this one This one is not designed specifically for uh, VM, uh, data store, VM, uh, VM, 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 VM data store. And it actually has an, an ARM Quaco processor, and it has built-in 10 gigabit network. It's SFP+. OK, great. I'm going to go around the back. So as you know, I've covered, I have many articles about 10 gig. We talked a little bit about that earlier becoming more and more common and affordable on new motherboards, even rather affordable motherboards under a thousand bucks. So let's talk about uh, SFP Plus is what I'm looking at, right? And GV so tell us about hooking up 10 gig to this. Oh, sorry, what's the question again? Yeah, sure, hold this, tell us about the physical form factor. If someone wants to hook up 10 gig, say they have uh, SFP Plus to yeah. learn. Yep. It has two SFP Plus 10, gig, 10 gigabit network ports. And there is also a PCI expansion slot. So if you need, like uh, just another like uh, the RJ45 10 gigabit, you can just purchase an expansion card from QNAP and then you can install on this one. Okay, great. And those expansion cards come in RJ45 uh, or SFP? You kind of have a choice? You have both. Okay, great. Thank you for clarifying that. And what else do we have over on the other side? I'll we'll follow you this way. That's all right. All right. have another... This one is this one has an AMD R series embedded Quaco processor. And oh, sorry, the screen you are looking at is actually um, it's actually one of our latest creation. Not this one, not not this model. I'm in the screen. Okay, so on the screen, what's running the screen there? Um, it's our um, enterprise storage system because we have a rack mount right there. And this uh, this year at VMworld, we are showcasing. Um, this dual controller NAS system. So it's our latest product line, and it, it's uh, it's based on FreeBSD plus ZF ZFS. Okay, let's talk about Linux a little bit. FreeBSD. Um, so back to the more affordable products, typ more typical in a home lab. There are backup companies. Uh, one of them is Nikivo, for instance. I just visited their booth where they actually install directly on your NAS. Can you talk a little bit about that? Like, which of your products are Nikivo compatible, for instance? Well, basically, all our um, as long as it's Intel or AMD based NAS, then it's um, Nikivo ready. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you can uh, over to the right, you have a couple more to show. Uh, yeah. I'll talk about this one. Uh, you mean this one? Uh, oh, this one. one. Okay. So this one is. Um, also, one of our latest designs. So, as you can see here, it has four three and a half inch drive, and also there are two two and a half inch drive trays. So, the reason why we have this kind of design is we um, we launched a new feature, uh, I believe, since last year. It's called Q tier. It does auto uh, auto data tiering. So, what we can do is we will the NAS system will relocate your data. And we'll relocate those frequent use data from, 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 from maybe from hard drives to those faster storage like SSDs, and we'll move those code data to hard drives. Okay, great. So I have a pretty good sense of uh, 
high, medium, and the low. Looks like you have many products that would be suited for home lab with one gig or even 10 gigs. So someone's getting started now. Um, 10 gig is probably a good way to go for future, future proofing. If they have a lot of VMs they're backing up on a daily basis, 10 gig will give them quite a boost as far as the backup rate, I would think. Um, so let me ask that question. When you have a machine that is capable of 10 gig, can the CPU like really keep up? Because some of them can be such a low end NAS that the CPU can't really take it and ingest the data at that kind of rate, right? So any recommendations or guidelines there? Well, if you want to fully utilize a 10 gigabit network, we would definitely uh, suggest to think about, our, to consider our Intel, the NAS with Intel Core i processor or even Xeon processor. That can fully utilize the 10 gigabit network. Ah, excellent, okay, thank you. And then uh, is there anything else to highlight on this screen? Just a little bit of Na uh, NAS GUI to show us, to give people a sense of it if they haven't used your stuff okay. before? So, um, yeah, if you could hold this. All right, sorry. So what you are looking right, uh, what you are looking at right now is our uh, user ma uh, managing interface. It's called QTS. So it's uh, you, as you can see, it has an iPad-like um, interface, and then you can basically drag and drop anything in here. And we also have something similar to um, App Store, that is called App Center. So you can basically install and then uninstall, enable, disable all. Like apps, we have more than we. I think we have um, two, two, three hundred apps right now in the app store, app center. Okay, this question's kind of out there, but it's about DNS. Is there a DNS app in there by any chance? Which would be pretty common that people might use in a whole lab instead of a Windows DNS server or a router. Would they consider DNS from the NAS, or is that a little weird? I know it's an oddball question. No, it's not. Um, actually, um, we. We do not have a DNS server app right now, but I believe it's, we are working on this right now. Ah, right, cool. Thank you. Thank you for uh, tolerating my many questions. I really appreciate the tour of your latest from QNAP. Thank you, James.